Jed Gottlieb from the Boston Herald, another guest list at guitar, this time with Don from Darlingside. How are you, sir? Great. Thanks for having me. I have this acoustic guitar in honor of what people think Darlingside might sound like. Because I feel like when they hear like, <laughs> well, you know, they're, they're kind of like folky and there's like a fiddle and there's a lot of harmonies and very minimalist percussion. They think, oh, well, you know, there's not going to be like these like weird electric guitar parts and like these sort of like drones and stuff so you kind of the what you what sort of on paper about the band doesn't really sound like the band the harmonies yes maybe but no yeah and i also like that if we're going to really extend this even yeah. a step farther Let's do then it. you've got some some sort of little messed up bits on this guitar oh, yes. you know, it's, it's seen some love and it's got some stories to tell but yeah. it's also sort of flowery it's got some it is flowery some flowers popping right up out yeah. of it so yeah. it's not afraid to show its its softer side you know this is all, this whole segment is going to be metaphors, so... <laughs> yeah, all yeah. of them centered around your guitar. Yeah, we and, gonna... no, we'll move over to yours. <laughs> yours. Um, tell me a little bit about, um, about your guitar approach in the band, because you're playing an electric, but you're not, you know, you're not like wailing away, you're doing like these amazing like textures, and it's almost more like a... Um, like flourishes or like little additions to the music as opposed to like a backbone, which yeah. is kind of what you think of as a guitar. Yeah, it, it does vary a lot from song to song. Sometimes yeah. I would say very auxiliary. Other times it's, other times it's, you know, a more fundamental thing. Like it's taking the place of what would have been an acoustic guitar part. Mm -hmm. um, but that's pretty rare now. Nowadays it's more like, you know, we don't have a synth player. Yeah. So sometimes the electric guitar is the pad instrument. Right, mm -hmm. where it's sort of doing a long sustaining texture. Um, other times it's sort of an additional like jangly thing. Like I play a lot of 12 string electric guitar yeah. as well. And so you put that through a big compressor and you're kind of like doing a, you know, the birds type yeah. of a sound. Yeah. Um, and so we throw in some of those things as opposed to having two acoustic guitars. We'll do one acoustic and one, you know, electric 12 string, but that ends up kind of through processing and everything kind of being one jangly tangle of guitars that you mm -hmm. can pan to either side if it's a recording or if it's live you know it's it's sort of like one of them can be arpeggiating while the other is is strumming that kind of thing so yeah. but tell me a little bit about your sort of tech approach because you do play with like a lot of delay a lot of sort of echo and maybe reverb and i don't know there's a lot of stuff there that sort of adds this mm -hmm. really ethereal quality to the guitar what's that? tell me a little bit about your approach and then maybe play a little something that sort of, you know, might sound boring if it didn't have these cool layers on it. <laughs> um, well, I think the the approach is really, you know, most of it's time-based things. Yeah. So delay and echo are sort of two names for the same thing. If you take out the attack by using a volume knob or a pedal is what I normally use with my foot. Um, you know, if you do that, you take out the attack and you only have the end of the note. Mm -hmm. And then you delay that. Play a little something that uh, sort of exemplifies what you're talking about. Well, I can play you basically my my sort of my swell technique is yeah. just it's like imagine a lap steel player mm -hmm. or a pedal steel. Better yet, you know they have volume swell pedals and delays. Those are the, sort of the main tools. You want a bright sound. Um, so in this case, like I'm going to use the I'm going to use the bridge pickup. So the twangiest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is, if I had a, my, my pedal, I would use that. But I'm, instead, I'm going to mimic it by just taking this volume knob, and I'm going to put it at zero to start with. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to click on my, my delay pedal over here. And hopefully this will sound OK, since it's not my, <laughs> this is a pedal <laughs> I right. borrowed from my friend yeah. um, for today. But if I just played a chord, the same chord, you know, it has this long tail on it, it's got a warble to it, it's yeah. got a lot going on, and you can hear each repetition because I'm making a sharp mm -hmm. accented attack. Mm -hmm. So, um, when I take away the attack though, the hope is that it will it'll become this kind of ambient, eerie yeah. swell. Yeah. And so I yeah, can yeah. play a chord progression where I I bring it in and I can do it. 
And so yeah. that can become like the guy who just it's holds down organy, his hands yeah. on it. Um, yeah. So that's kind of one of the more you know basic settings. That would be with some modulation. You can hear kind of a wow and flutter because this particular pedal is trying to mimic an old um, a Benson Echo Rec. Will you play us out with a little chord progression, a little darling side that you kind of have been digging lately? Maybe.